Hey folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving Gay Lussac's law, also known as the pressure temperature law. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that the pressure of a gas is 1.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals at a temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. If the gas is heated to 127 degrees Celsius, find the new pressure in the container. Well firstly you should note that the temperature values are given in degrees Celsius, so we need to convert them into Kelvin before using the equation for gay lussacs law. And remember that's because the equation for gay lussacs law only holds when we use temperature in Kelvin rather than degrees Celsius. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find P2, the final pressure. We know the initial temperature T1 is 23 degrees Celsius, which we need to convert into Kelvin. So we do 23 plus 273, which gives us 296 Kelvin. And then the initial pressure P1 is 1.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals, which is also known as atmospheric pressure. And then the final temperature T2 is 127 degrees Celsius, which again we need to convert into Kelvin. So adding 273 to this gives us 400 Kelvin. Writing down our relationship for Gay Lussac's law, we have P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Substituting in the numbers gives us 1.0 times 10 to the 5 divided by 296 is equal to P2 over 400. And now to get an expression for P2 on the left hand side, we're going to cross multiply here. So we do the thing in the bottom left times the top right is equal to the thing in the top left times the bottom right. And that's to get rid of the fractions here. So cross multiplying gives 296 P2 is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the 5 times 400. And so doing the right hand side here in your calculator and then dividing by 296 gives us P2 equals 1.35 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Question 2 says that the pressure in a car tyre is 2.5 times 10 to the 5 pascals at 27 degrees Celsius. After a long journey, the pressure has risen to 3.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Assuming the volume has not changed, what is the new temperature of the tyre? So again, just like in question 1, we should note that the temperature value is given in degrees Celsius, so we need to convert it into Kelvin before using the equation for Gay Lussac's law. And that means our new temperature here, which we find T2, will also be measured in Kelvin rather than degrees Celsius. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find T2, the final temperature. We know that the initial pressure P1 is 2.5 times 10 to the 5 pascals. We know that the initial temperature T1 is 27 degrees Celsius, which we need to convert into Kelvin. So we add 273 to this to give us 300 Kelvin. And lastly, we have P2, which is the final pressure of 3.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Writing down our equation now for Gay Lussac's law, we have P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Substituting in the numbers gives us 2.5 times 10 to the 5 over 300 is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 5 over T2. And again, just like in question 1, we're going to cross multiply here to get rid of the fractions. So we do the thing in the top left times the thing in the bottom right is equal to the thing in the top right times the thing on the bottom left. So that gives us 2.5 times 10 to the 5 T2 is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 5 times 300. Doing this right hand side in your calculator and then dividing by 2.5 times 10 to the 5 gives us T2 on its own, which is T2 equals 360 Kelvin. Lastly, question 3 says that a sealed flask containing a fixed volume of air is immersed in water. The flask is connected to a pressure sensor via plastic tubing. When the water is heated, the temperature of the air in the flask increases to 340 Kelvin at a pressure of 119 kilopascals. What was the initial temperature of the air in the flask if the initial pressure was 105 kilopascals? So notice that we're given the final temperature in Kelvin here, so we don't need to convert from degrees Celsius into Kelvin since we've already got the value in Kelvin. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the initial temperature T1. We know the initial pressure P1 is 105 kilopascals. We know the final pressure P2 is 119 kilopascals. And lastly, we know the final temperature T2 is 340 Kelvin. So writing down our equation for Gay Lussac's law gives us P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Substituting in the numbers gives us 105 divided by T1 is equal to 119 over 340. Notice that I've kept the pressures in kilopascals because there's no need to convert into pascals there since the units of kilopascals for both will eventually cancel out. Cross multiplying here to get rid of the fractions and get T1 on the left hand side. We can do the thing in the top right times the thing in the bottom left is equal to the thing in the top left times the thing in the bottom right. So we have 119 T1 is equal to 105 times 340. Doing this right hand side in your calculator and then dividing by 119 gives us T1 on its own, which gives us T1 equals 300 Kelvin. 
That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.